name is Justin Oliver. And um, I just want to appreciate God for what he has done in my life. And for my journey so far since I came to Life Bridge. It all started last year, I think um, in the month of July or so. I think in the month of August when I got um, a word of prophecy from the man of God. In fact, um, I actually know that my coming to Life Bridge wasn't a coincidence. It was totally and perfectly orchestrated by God. I remember um, it was there in the month of August when um, I think um, stretch, I think it was a stretch service, which was the 12 hours prayers from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And the man of God ministered to me. That was when he told me that I will leave my job where I was working at the moment, which at the time I was serving as the manager. And um, that apart from that, I was also believing the country. You know, you see, at that point in my life, I would say I was in total confusion about my future. I wasn't clear about a lot of things. Uh, and at least the only thing I was clear about at that time, in fact, was the job I had. The position was good. The pay seems decent. And um, um, the fact, too, that I know that I didn't want to leave the country because of, you know, the projects at hand, you know. But I just took the prophecy in good faith. And um, I remember in the month of January, I had to, God orchestrated a move in the company. At first, God confirmed the word of um, the man of God via dreams. And um, in the month of January, I was, God orchestrated a move and I was forced to resign from the place of work. And you see, um, for me, I think my life is a testimony so far because at this time last year, as I said earlier, there were a lot of confusion. I wasn't very sure about a lot of things about my life. Um, but I can just give glory to God. I can give glory to God now, you know, for all the transformation, for the journey thus far. Now, in the month of January, after I resigned from my job, there was a lot of, you know, I wasn't sure you know, of what I was going to do next, where I was headed to, you know, there was just a lot of confusion. But I, I remember that um, I just talk, I knew that God had a plan for me, you know, because I just heard to the word of the man of God, you know, what he would minister to me. And all of a sudden, you know, while I was just um, in that still, you know, no job, you know, trying to get a place to work, trying to get, in, you know, to do a lot of stuff, you know, to make ends meet, you know, I noticed that I continued in the ministry and I noticed something in that period. I was in total peace of mind. I was in total peace of mind. Um, I seemed to be, it seemed like as though I was lacking nothing. In fact, I was lacking nothing. God literally met all of my needs, all of them. I just think of something, I, I just think of it and, and it's sorted out. I just think of it and it's sorted out. This happened times and times again. And I, I learned to rely on God. I learned to trust God. You know. And suddenly, I think in the month of April, all of a sudden, an opportunity just opened up. You know, uh, This whole thing is just, for me, it's still funny because when I think about it, if you had told me, if someone had told me last year that now um, I'll be leaving the country, I, w I, w I wouldn't believe it, to be honest, because I didn't know how it was going to happen. But in the month of April, all of a sudden, um, um, someone spoke with my brother and said he was going to, was willing to sponsor me to come to the UK. You know, he, he gave me a job, he offered me a job, and um, the pay was good, and it just started from there, you know. And um, I think towards the month of June, when we started the application, uh, again, it was looking a little bit difficult. Uh, you know, there were a lot of stuff. The first sponsorship letter was denied by the UK government. And I remember I spoke with the man of God, Pastor Elisha, and um, he told me I shouldn't worry, that they should apply again, that I will get it this time. You know, there's something that comes with his words. When, when he speaks to you, you know, or whenever he speaks to me, there's just this peace of mind. It's just, I have this assurance, like, it's like, I just go to bed. I have nothing to worry anymore. 
you know, and I told my brother they were all tensed. My boss was tensed, you know. And when we applied for the second time, um, glory to God, um, it was approved by the UK government, and and we went further to apply for the visa, you know. And so when I met the man of God, there were a lot of we had a lot of fear because there were a lot of things, a lot of criteria that were not met, honestly, concerning the visa. And I remember that morning before I went for the application, he just told me, he took my passport, he told me favor, you know. I, it just seemed like I was just looking forward to the word from him. And he just told me favor. He didn't pray, he didn't do any long, no long prayers. He just said favor. And he said, you've gotten the visa. And I went to apply. That was in the month of June, yeah, ending of June. And all those times we've been waiting waiting and you know we're not getting response from the uk government we just everyone was feeling tense my brother came up with some kind of theories that is some uh, um, um, demonic stuff that uh, that possibly there's someone i've offended not possibly it wasn't there was one i have offended i have to go as a person for forgiveness bringing up a lot of theories and i remember then i it almost got to me and i spoke to my man of god and he told me there is nothing like that <laughs> there is no such thing and I shouldn't fear it. There is, it doesn't exist. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I just kept my faith. You know, as I said, when he, when he, once he gives the word, you know, there's just this peace, peace, that this peace that just comes with the word, and you forget everything. And you know, I didn't have to worry any. I didn't have to worry anymore, to be honest. So it seemed like everyone was even worried for me. What if this didn't happen? Like, when my man of God have told me that my passport is favored. And he has told me that I will get it. And everything he has been telling me so far has been happening sequentially. Se- everything, everything. Uh, I won't doubt now. So I was at peace. I remember yeah, at the point my sister even called me and said, I don't understand you. Why, why do you have this so much peace? Why is everyone tensed and you, you come about the situation? Do you have a plan B? I said, there's no plan B. There's only plan A. And the plan A is going to work. Why will I worry about something I know that is going to work? Uh, I've already gotten the confirmation I needed and I, I stuck to it and um, glory to God um, two weeks ago um, I really give glory to God the visa was out it was positive and um, I remember just a day to the visa I think a day yes pastor had pointed at me and told me there's a 24 hours miracle and I took it <laughs> I took it I think that day he just called on all the delays he's like more delays and that visa is out within 24 hours, I spoke it from the pulpit and I took it. At night, I prayed on it. I prayed on those words. I, and I went and I got the mail that I should come to the, you know, to the, um, to the um, company, I don't know, to get my passport. And um, to the glory of God, the visa is out. And I just, I'm happy to share this testimony because my, my life has been from glory to glory, ever since I stepped into life breed. And I, and I just want to thank God for it. I, I want to thank God for, for my pastor, Pastor Elisha. I really want to thank God for him. I want to thank God for the life breed family. They took me in as a brother. And um, th- this is home for me. This is home for me. And, and I, I love the growth process so far. You know, apart from these testimonies, I mean, everything, literally, everything in my life has been a testimony. My relationship with God, which I think, is very vital, has been a testimony. Uh, uh, um, my, my evangelism, you know, my pastor had taught me to do evangelism. I, don't have no, I can't remember the last time I did that. I did that the last time as a kid, in fact, probably when I was nine. Uh, and, you know, he, he got me into that again. And, you know, seeing life being transformed, that, that's just a um, mind blowing testimony. You know, studying the Word of God, reading books, spiritual books, growing, praying, praying, my praying habit. You know, these were things that. I, that were never there before in my life. And it, it, for me, it's just the period of one year. It's just one year, one year time. And I'm just, oh, you know, the Bible says, count your blessing and name the one by one. You know, just one year. And I can just see this transformation in literally every aspect of my life. Uh, before it even seemed impossible for me to be in a relationship, to be honest, you know. Uh, I've been told that with my working habit and all, are you sure you're going to be in a relationship? And uh, in this period of one year, um, I've been blessed, you know. Uh, I got into a relationship, um, so approved by my man of God. 
And I'm just grateful to God. I'm grateful to God for everything. I'm grateful to God for this life transformation. I'm grateful to God for where he's taking me, where, he's, where I'm headed. I have confidence. I have total trust in God because he has brought me this far. And every word he has spoken through his man of God, my, man, my pastor, Pastor Elisha, Prophet Elisha, has come to pass. You know, and, and I'm sticking in. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in wholeheartedly. And I just want to give glory to God. Hallelujah.